Hello there, we are Geeks Assembled and we have gathered here once again today with our Christmas hats on and our Christmas trees and we've got our very own Santa Claus today, Stephen Price, currently got his camera off but I tell you his costume is going to amaze you. But we are here to talk about Nan's Christmas Carol, yes, Catherine Tate's Christmas Carol as Nan and we'll start off with let's start off with Stephen Price actually what's your opening thoughts Stephen did you enjoy this festival yeah, it um, wasn't the funniest I've said there's been more episodes of you know the Catherine Tate you know show uh, it's more funnier than this but yeah this was uh, this was hilarious um, like um, <laughs> The part where David Tennant came on with the uh, the, the Ghostbusters scene, it was uh, hysterical, hysterical with that, and um, uh, the the part with the the dog is 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 dying, like you know, with the, the show where the, the dog is dying, and she still bloody feeds him a crisp. <laughs> Overall. Uh, Brilliantly, uh, brilliantly done, brilliantly funny, uh, excellent. And what do our friends over the pond have to say about this? What do Alex and Susan have to say? Be interesting to see what they think of Nan. And have you ever seen Nan before? Have you ever seen Catherine Tate's Nan? Yeah, no, I have. Um, okay. I know that she had it in her show, even though I like the other... Uh, the high schooler better who's always going, I ain't bothered, I ain't bothered, I'm a bothered. Um, and I know they did a Doctor Who version oh, of that character. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's basically a rape tread of Christmas Carol. However, it, you know, it, yeah, I mean, she had to redeem herself because at the beginning she was very mean and everything has to be perfectly my way, which you can do. But then just like Christmas Carol and just like in the story, then she won't have anybody around, you know, so you can have everything you want, but they could also drive everybody else away. Then you won't have anybody. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it is a funny character. Catherine Tate is very funny. Um, you know, it's a funny character that she's solitary and then she's cynical and then she's mean, but they always show her kind of at the end redeeming herself or, you know, that she actually likes people, you know, which is another thing, too. You can criticize somebody and still like them. Uh, but like I said, she she does kind of talk mean, and her son does kind of put up with her. And hopefully not all grandparents are that way with their, with their relatives. <laughs> and um, I like Nan. I think that she's fun. I think that she lies like a rug to her to her old old biddies the the other ladies in her in her little social group um and i think that that she uh pushes everybody away because she's uh an unhappy old old bird and i just think that she's got uh she's got um well, she was a perfect one, and I loved it when uh, when uh, David Tennant was the ghost of Christmas Present. Um, he's he's fun and funky looking, and all goth and looking really cool. I mean, it was a bit like Fright Night, you know. Mm -hmm. One of the one of the the David Tennant looking hot kind of things. Anyway, um, so yeah, I know, right? Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's my take on the situation. And well, you thought David Tennant was hot, did you, Susan? Uh huh. Yeah. There you go, Alex. You'll have to get yeah dark <laughs> costume like his. You know, grow your hair a bit. Get some moves going. Can you do Ghostbusters? No, excuse me. Can you dance to excuse Ghostbusters? Me, excuse me. I'm just going to step in and defend Alex's moves. He's got the moves. I, I can believe it. He's got the voice. He's got the voice. Alex is a smooth talker. 
you know, you can, 17, you can ring me any day. 17, 17 years ago, I did have a goatee. I had a mustache and a goatee. Yep. What was the goat called? Yeah, goatee, not a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, actually, I forgot um, the trigger of um, Only Fools and Horses was in this as uh, the, the ghost of Christmas future, you know, the Grim Reaper. Um, I actually forgot he from, was in it. God, I forgot. From Vicar was... of Dibley too. Yeah. yeah, from Vicar of Dibley, and to think he's uh, and he's Doctor Who. Now. Yeah, Doctor Who. He was um, what you call it, the Cyberman um, Lumic, Professor Lumic. Yeah, yes. yeah. No, brilliant. So let's go to Lee. What do you yes, make well, of this, Lee? What's your opening thoughts? Uh, I I just love that, just because. It's an out. She plays a very old woman. She can get away with saying a lot of things. Yeah, I uh, swearing, and because if it was a, a younger character, I wouldn't think work. it'd be up wrong. Yeah, it wouldn't work. There'd be complaints, but because you're an older person, you can get away with it, and people laugh at it. Um, but I think the makeup as well for Nan is just absolutely amazing. You, yeah, it just that it, the face. Features the neck and it just looks so real. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's to me it was brilliant. It's a brilliant Christmas special. Um, she said uh, Roger Lloyd Pack goes to Christmas future. Uh, he said David Tennant goes to Christmas present and the brilliant Ben Miller as yeah. the goes to Christmas past. Ben Miller, I mean, he was the one um, played Robin of uh, the Sheriff of Nottingham in the Doctor Who episode as well, but. Um, They've all been in Doctor Who. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's his, a big his... Doctor Who connection in this. <laughs> but his, his, his ghost was Apart the one. Apart from James longest. Martin. He was, he was longer in, the, in this special. Yeah, his ghost was longer in this special than any of the other two. So well, I, I, Ben Miller, for me, made it because his, his interpretation of that ghost was just so funny. Everything was going wrong for him. Uh, you know, where he... You know, he, 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 he says, "Come, why don't you walk? Why don't you uh, walk through the door then?" And I mean, he just yeah. jumps through the window, doesn't he? Right. Out the door, he just jumps jump through the door, and he couldn't <laughs> float. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't he float because he. <laughs> um, well, yeah, carry on. Yeah, it, it's just it's a it's a fun episode, um, I, and she hasn't done she's not done many Christmas specials for past, what, maybe four years now, and she hasn't done a TV series for a hell of a long time. So I, I think it's wasted it talent. I think, I love Nan. Love I, I want a I, Nan Christmas special or, or something to do with Nan every year. Such a great character. Why doesn't, why doesn't she bring her back? It's like this is, this is one of the funniest Christmas specials I've, se- I mean, I've seen this before, but I haven't seen it in a very long time. But it's one of the funniest I've seen. I tend to think like there are other shows that have Christmas specials, other comedies that are really good. But I always feel the Christmas ones aren't as good. But Nan is just perfect for this. And she's obviously, obviously, this is a Nan's Christmas Carol. It's based on A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, you know, and the character fits so well and it's, it's done so, it's done so well. Like we watched Scrooge, we reviewed Scrooge, which is a similar thing. And I didn't really find that hugely funny, but this, I love this. I I absolutely love this. I just love Nan. She, it's those quick remarks and it's, and it's the laugh as well. The laugh. When she laughs, you laugh. It's as simple as that. And like I say, it's a sharp, Quick remarks, the quick comebacks. Um, Catherine Tate has got this character um, down to a T by now by by doing this. And um, Catherine Tate actually based this on a real character. This is actually based on a real life person. I don't know whether you know that and whether you know the story behind it. But um, uh, Catherine Tate, well, while she was in, I think she was in school or something like that, they used to have... Um, to go to work experience. And one lot was going somewhere and her lot, she was two different groups. One lot was going somewhere. Her lot was going to a retirement home. And that's where she found the Nan character. 
somebody who was like the Nan, and she's always remembered this character. And now it's it's well, the Nan's my favourite character of Catherine Tate, the Nan, out of all of them, because this is I know this episode is dedicated to Nan, but the Catherine Tate show does have different characters, like you've got the the gay one, how very dare you, and stuff like that, and you've got others among your late. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, there's there's the what was it the um, Lauren Cooper. The one, yeah, so there's one what's always shocked at everything and jumps at everything and she's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant comedian and also a brilliant actress. And you put those two together, you've got gold. Yeah, and what great supporting characters she had in this. It's like it's not just her who has to be good. Like she's carrying the show, but you've got to get. Like David Tennant was brilliant in this. He played the role brilliantly, um, and, and I liked uh, I liked her 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 son. Yeah, I've Brad actually Hall. met him, Matthew Horn. Yeah, um, when I I used to go to the Paul O'Grady show once a year, which was a a, a day ta- a tea time chat show, um, and he was one of the guests one year that I went on it, and uh, he was there. I think he was with, was he with Barbara Windsor? I can't remember. That was another time. But I met Barbara Windsor as well. Um, but, but yeah, he was there that one time. Well, that, but that's a, that, is a good, that is a good part of that. Because that, it is sort of a duo thing, you know, Nan and her grandson. But it's her, her, her gay innuendos about him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, wearing spandex and um, a, a boyfriend called Stefan. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't she say the word puff? I can't remember. I think she does. <laughs> yeah, she does. She calls him a puff. Yeah, yeah. yeah you wouldn't, they good. wouldn't do that now. They would not do that now. I think with this character, they would. Because they, they can get away with it. With Nan, yeah, with the Nan. Because not, she can get away with it. This character now, they would have to, you know, temper it. But, but there, there's, something, there's something about... I Nan's don't know what like it is. an Archie Bunker. Yeah, but there's something about dressing up as either men dressing up as women, like Paul O'Grady with Lily Savage. Lily Savage got away with a lot. And it's the same with um, Brendan O'Carroll um, as Mrs. Brown. He gets away with a lot, doesn't he? There's some things on Mrs. Brown where you think, wow, that's really close to the knuckle, what they've just said. <laughs> but this, yeah. So has anybody got any favourite moments of Nan's Christmas Carol? There's so many. Um, but anybody got any Pacific? I, I, just like, I just like the way she shuts the door on everybody and you know, all the family from Yorkshire. Slam. Uh, <laughs> stick it up your ass. <laughs> I, I, like, I like towards the end where, you know, the classic um, uh, Charles Dickens scene where um, she's looking out the window and obviously her grandson's down below and she says, get a chicken, get a turkey, get this. And this. <laughs> it's a news agent. That's so funny. I find that scene well, really funny. There, there, is one, there is one scene where it's the travel back to the past and it, uh, the, her hus- well, husband-to-be is sort of outside and like that. And they've got to talk about, shall we go dancing? Cat met when... Oh, and the Wednesday, we went on a Wednesday, uh, yeah. 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 She tells him to F off and slams the door. <laughs> uh, the, the part that made me laugh was she uh, getting into bed and can you hear a farting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. It's so yeah. funny. Isn't it? Any any other favourite moments, Stephen? Yeah, with the, the, uh, the ghost comes out of the, the wardrobe. Oh, that yeah, yeah. Go back to Narnia, doesn't she say? Yeah, go back to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> that was good. And he's 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 um talking really like spookily, isn't he, at the beginning? And then he just starts talking normally. Uh, that yeah. that was good. Yeah. Susan and, also, and Alex. Yeah. Also, you have the musical interlude with Madness as well. It's always good oh, to have. Oh, that Madness. was my bit. Mad- oh, he's- Stop, Lee. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, Lee, you've stolen a bit. Oh, jeez. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, like, uh, fill that out a little bit more. Yeah, I, pretend he hasn't like, said it. I like how Madness has been in all of, in, in all of these amazing comedy shows. They were in 
young ones not once but twice or three times thrice or uh and they were in uh they were one of them was in ab fab and a couple of them no the whole band was in was in uh well the whole band was in this and so i mean they're well, well let me ask you let me ask you say oh, they were in all, they've been in all the great comedies were they in 40 towers that was before madness were they, were they, <laughs> were yeah, they in porridge the only, <laughs> the only <laughs> i know i've been awkward i'm being awkward you are <laughs> awkward oh my god <laughs> Carry on, like Susan. I'm being destructive. Anyway, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump all over Lee's bit either, but he did totally mm. steal You're the my... first woman to ever do that, I can tell you. He totally did steal my favorite moment. That was like when I saw Madness singing Christmas carols, and then Madness at the end, I was like, oh my God, it's Madness. Oh my God, it's Madness. Oh, d it literally is. Um, did you? <laughs> did... So you've never seen this before then? Yeah, I've seen it, but I, you know, I, I, I guess I never remembered that Madness was in it. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, I guess the, I've only really, really watched over and over and over again the bit with Catherine and David and, and like that whole thing because of, you know, the, the uh, 10th Doctor fandom. Uh, okay, okay, okay. You want to, you want to. I, I do, I do, I do like the lottery scene, so I do like the lottery. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's another interesting point that she's lying and then says, you know, everybody won, but it's 15 million people. But they yeah. only have a pound, you know, so <laughs> that, that would change the lottery quite a bit, too. If they had winners, but, if, you know, they were only like, you know, five dollars. You can have five dollars, but it's 10 million people. It's not one person or four people winning, you know, 100,000 or whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is a good. Uh, Christmas special, like I said, she was mean. She was a real Scrooge at the beginning and demanding perfection, and and the ghosts were good, and you know the in jokes, and then she changes. But like I said, she's done that in, in almost every story that she comes off as, you know, I don't need anybody. I'm tough. I'm smart. Da da da, and that's great. Except that if you never have anyone to share it with, it's awful lonely life. And uh, mm. you know, she does get away with saying a lot of mean things. Uh, you know, and of course, like we've mentioned here before, you know, anything can be taken too far, just like the political correctness. And she's sort of thumbing her nose at that. But then at the end, she realized that, you know, nobody, you know, was willing to, you know, have her around. And she does the same thing almost every story is that she softens and then. You know, she lightened up on the family that she kicked out or the dog. I mean, the dog is not going to be super neat and clean just because she wants it to be. And, uh, you know, it was nice to have Madness in there. And they could have, you know, a Christmas song without it being too religious or too, you know, old. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's cute. It's cute that, you know, she, you know, and then she also thumbs her nose at, you know, supposed you know, societal rules where they're not really rules either. So, you know, the the uh, the special with the Wicked one with uh, the guy that played uh, Wicked and he was also in Doctor Who as well with the 11th Doctor, you know, that, that he didn't like that song playing all the time and he was getting really, you know, furious about it. Are you talking about Warwick Davis? Yeah, Warwick Davis, yeah. Oh, Warwick Davis, yeah. yeah. I think, personally, this is a really good adaptation of A Christmas Carol, and it's really well put together, and that Nan is perfect um, uh, the, for this. The, yeah. One of the parts that uh, I burst out laughing was uh, when one of them said about the dog having a good Christmas, I'm not having him shitting all over the place. <laughs> 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 no, there's so many good lines in this. There's so many funny parts. There really is. Um, but if anybody, if anybody wants to add anything else, um, if not, we will go to final say and score because Lee's got the DVD there. I can say uh, something I want to add. Is there any outtakes where they, you know, burst out laughing? Ah, yeah, yeah. That's a good 
question to Lee. No. I think I think no. we kind of got the yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> got the gist of that one. No. <laughs> There's an extra on it with uh, a game what Catherine Tate and David Tennant play together. And that's uh, it's, it's what called, game is it's it? Called, got, it's called I've Got a New Business. Oh, right. That sounds yeah, you, fascinating. You know, you say, you, you know, you say I got, I've got a new business, um, you know, oh, yeah. bake, baking birthday cakes, and then you've got to do a funny sort of line about that. Okay, we might as well do that game here now. Um, I so I, I've got a new business which is in bakery, Lee. What's it? So it's like, <laughs> no, it's like um, I've, got, I've got a new business. You, you asked me, what's your new business? What's your new business? I don't want to know your business, actually. It's, pro <laughs> it's probably not the same thing. You're ruining the game. Oh, you sorry. What, what's your business, Lee? It's a... Uh, and what? Uh, and how big are your feet? You say you. <laughs> then you ask me. When I say what my business is, you say how is how's it going, and then stuff like that. All right. right? Okay. So what what's your so, business, Lee? It's uh, I'm, I'm building fireplaces. And how's it going? Great. Uh, uh, I've got I've got a new business, <laughs> Alan. Have you? Uh, what is it? How's it going? <laughs> um, I, I, you did, you did. It, it's, I've got a, I've got a job in a watch factory. How's it going? Uh, how's well, it going? I, yeah. I, I, I'm making faces all day long. Hey, come on, Lee. You need ah, oh, you need oh. to learn our season, Lee. Oh. yeah, but have we got the time? Ooh, <laughs> that was yeah. Ask me another one. Ask me another one. What, what's I've, your business, I've got, Lee? I've got, I've got a new business. What's your business, Lee? What's your business? I'm making telescopes. How's it going? Yeah, how's it going? Looking up. <laughs> <laughs> up where? That, well, that's, <laughs> that's the game. That's, that's the game. That's the game. <laughs> That's the game what David Tennant and uh, Catherine Tate played when they were not filming on Doctor Who, when they were just sat reading scripts. <laughs> That's fun. It is oh, fun. It's, it's, a, it's good. It's good on here. They do it better. Oh, you've actually watched it. Oh, so those jokes are from there. You haven't actually been no, invented no, no. at all and made up your no, own those joke. No, are, those are uh, my joke I stole off Mary Poppins, which we did <gasps> a while ago. can't be having that can't I, I, i'm surprised you can remember it i can never remember what happens in these casts susan <laughs> <laughs> i can't remember what we're doing now what we're we doing oh Catherine takes now aren't we uh, <laughs> so we might as well go into final say and score oh my gosh we can always add that into the bonus we can add that into when we when we bring out our 2017 dvd in January, we can bring we can bring that out as an added extra as a bonus. Brilliant. Yeah, okay. uh, let's go to Alex and Susan for final say and score. And what's your business, Alex? Uh, well, it, it's just going. How's it going? Uh, it, it's just going. Uh, that's the that's the Massachusetts answer. You I'm keep going. Saying, you keep going. going. You go for your dream, boy. You go for your yeah. dreams. <laughs> Yeah, they, don't they don't stop for anybody else. and I've just knocked the tree over. Yeah, because cause it's a sideline and you're not supposed to know about it. Uh, so um, I, I'd give this about a eight and then the madness song at the end pushes it over with a nine. Okay. And um <laughs> 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 yeah, very funny, Alex. Very funny. Um, no, put it on your head, Susan. I've got, uh, I've got a new business, guys. <laughs> what? What is it? Um, it's apparently not with a hat. Anyway, 
Uh, <laughs> and how's it going? Uh, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, really? No, come on. No, <laughs> that wasn't that was. Oh, come on. Susan's oh. winning this already. Susan's walking this. <laughs> okay, guys, um, I, I'll give it a 10. Uh, it was just fun. And, and Catherine Tate, you know, Catherine Tate doesn't, doesn't do anything bad. I mean, she's great at Shakespeare. She, she's a hell of a lot better at Shakespeare than I ever will be. She's, she's a funny lady. And even though I'm funny once in a while, I'm not funny all the time. And um, she's, can, can I just say she, something? And she's got great red hair. So, I mean, what, what's not to like? She's like the, a nan, nan is a, nan is a, a curmudgeon uh, uh, with a with an attitude, and that's just fun. I've got I've got a new business. What's your new business, Alan? I've now um, become a sponsor of another channel. Oh yeah, how's that going? <laughs> <laughs> it's best not well, to I, don't, I, don't, I don't think much of that tagline, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Stephen Price. Well, I'm making a movie soon. Oh, oh yeah. What's your movie? How's it going? Oh, very well at the uh, at the moment. Um, it's called Rain Rain Man Two. It's got nothing to do with the first one because that's all it does in wheels is rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, why is it called Rain Man Two, not Rain Man One? Because we never do tire of you jumping over rain, yeah. Stephen. It's about how, how horrendous the weather is. <laughs> oh, no, Brian. <laughs> anyway, Stephen, what's your final saying score? Um, hilarious. Uh, it's got to be a nine. Nine out of ten. A nine out of ten, Lan. Let's go to Lee because we have to. <laughs> Literally, it's in the contract. <laughs> yes. Um... I wish I'd never signed it. Do it. Do another. Do another. I it with do another blood, job. By the way, but it's not mine. Lee, blood. do another job. What's another job? Yeah. I, I can't, uh, come on, um, Lee. Yeah, come on. I can't think got, of any. Got, You're better at this than I've me. Got, I've got a new business. What's yeah. your new business? I make watches. Oh yeah, how's that how's going? How's it going? Ticking over. <laughs> nice. Um. Yeah, oh yeah, final scene has got, yeah. Uh, wonderfully acted, brilliant, co she's comedy comedy genius, uh, wonderful makeup, uh, the wonderful ensemble cast, um, Christmas written all over it, and I just love the way when old people swear, I love it. Um, so for me, it's a 10. A 10, and for me, do you know what, I'm going to go the same as Lee. I absolutely love this. I think it's um, funny from beginning to end. Uh, David Tennant's great. Catherine Tate is utterly amazing as Nan. Um, it's just so funny. Throughout, it's just funny. Yeah, I'm gonna, it has to be a 10. It can't be anything lower. I'd like to thank everyone here for joining me. And I would like to thank you for watching and apologize at the same time for the bad jokes that have been oh. had on this cast. Oh, we're but, so terribly sorry. Well, you know, I've got a new but job. apart from Susan, so Susan, is your one funny. Have no, you got no, another no, one? No, no, listen, I've got a new job, Alan. Yeah, what is it? It's apologizing. And how's it going? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Susan's good at this. She's good, isn't she? Oh, but, will, will you give us another one to finish out the cast? Give us another one to finish out the cast. Go on. <laughs> we'll, we'll finish out the cast with this. So we'll see you next time, folks. Look after yourself. Take care. And Susan's going to say her joke. We'll see you next time. Okay. Um, I've got a new job, guys. What is it? It's uh, being a pom-pom girl. And how's it going? <laughs> well, it, uh, it sort of shakes me up every so often. No, that was bad. That was really bad. God, sometimes they just oh, blow it. Oh, 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 no. I'm melting. I think Lee's having one put up his ass. Um. <laughs>